on a million now Had to go around the world, make shillings now If my head in the clouds fall down on a million now Had to go around, I ain't sitting down till I got it figured out Focus on Forever is the strangest thing It's shorter than you think No think Especially in the beginning. Um, but I think somewhere along the way, people didn't realize that um, um, Grams had fallen out of that relationship a long time ago. Okay? She stopped even wanting to really, um, you know, be all lovey dovey. You could tell when things change because from what Grams is saying, she stopped, you know, um, feeling any type of way for her months before it ever really ended. Where she messed up at is that you didn't let your significant other know that you felt this way. But if you true to yourself and you know what's meant for you, it's gonna get hard. God give his toughest battles yeah. to his strongest. <laughs> You know, things that I've been standing on, I done recorded probably over like, I want to say no lie y'all, I done recorded 30 of these videos. I feel like this is going to be the only one that drops because I feel like I'm at a, a space mentally where I can discuss and I could talk. And it, I'm talking from a clear headspace because it was so much drama going on for the past couple of months. When I did record those videos, you just would have felt too much. You would have felt a little bit of anger coming from me. And that ain't what I want to put out into the world. So that's why I strongly suggested at the beginning of this video that, you know, if you're not here to be positive or just at least be open-minded to, you know, the whole situation then there's no need to even be here. And if you're just gonna object to everything I say, then there's just really no need to be here because for real, for real, if you're open-minded, you're gonna be able to understand certain things from a different, from a person's point of view. You'll be able to understand that, you know, there's two, three, four, five different sides to every story. And you'll be able to understand that People see things from their level of self-awareness. So, I just don't have time to entertain. Real, real shit, honestly. Social media and trolls and stuff, they will have you thinking that you need to suppress your feelings. Like, it's not okay for you to feel a certain way. And they will try to bully you into a shell for making decisions based off yourself that they don't personally understand. So I'm here to, I'm living proof that, you know what I'm saying, it is okay to walk in your own truth and walk in your own power based off of, you know, what you feel is meant for you. That's gonna go over a lot of people's head, but the people that I speak to, they gonna understand. They gonna understand. I've been like really, really just in a shell lately. I've been to myself, contrary to what you guys been seeing on the internet, like I'll post a picture, but I really ain't really 
dropping videos. I ain't really did nothing silly like I normally be doing because I've really been focused. A lot of stuff that I that would normally be okay, I wasn't okay with. Like it was a new year, new. I should. I don't want to deal with old problems during a new year. It was a lot of stuff going on at the beginning of the year that I just really felt like I didn't, I shouldn't have to be going through. So I just really started realizing that a lot of my connections with friends, family, and even relationships, a lot of those connections were based off of trauma bonding. And for those of you who don't know what trauma bonding is, this is an example. If you ever wondered how one of your closest friends, when y'all fall out, they go be friends with one of your enemies, that's trauma bonding. Because the only way they connect in is through a common, uh, familiar situation, which uh, would be you. And hate that they have for you, they can relate to one of your haters. So that's why it's easy for them to become haters and your best friend to become friends with one of your haters. That's trauma bonding. Another way trauma bonding happens is if I get out of a relationship and I'm the next person I meet, they're going, they went through the same thing I went through and they're fresh out of the same situation. So because we can relate through similar feelings of pain, that will make us more receptive of being together and being in a relationship because we both know what it feels like to hurt. That's trauma bonding. So at the beginning of the year, I realized that there was cycles that needed to be broken. When those cycles began to break, I had to accept. I had to accept that I am no longer connecting to people through pain and I need new connections in my life. I need I know I've been speaking out how and manifesting how I needed new business friends and I need new, I just needed new connections in my life, y'all. And um, if you had fallen out of love and you did not want to be in the relationship any longer, you should have let her know that, okay? That's what happens in relationships when people don't want to be honest. Yeah, you've been with this person for a long time. But that doesn't mean, um, you know, sparing their feelings is more important than the actual big picture. Because at the end of the day, with you calling yourself sparing their feelings, it's only going to hurt it more in the end. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened here. Which is why I said in my last video that I was actually turned on by her feeling herself. But I'm so disappointed right now. And I'm not no person why they talking about I'm on the internet looking like I'm at peace and this, this, and this. Like I said, I have I have a job. I do want to put out good more than I want to put out bad. But I put out my truth too. And my truth would have hurt the person that I love at that time. The truth would have made another person look like the bad person. And I didn't want you to look like that. But sometimes the truth has to be told, but it's still on that person to be accountable. And that's what's really blowing me right now, that this person who I've learned so much from, who I've grown with, who I've been with, who've encouraged me, who I've encouraged, would sit here and not be accountable. It could be so childish to where you would really allow somebody to disrespect me and everything that we built. Everything. I, I, I can't respect that. I can't respect that. And that is why I'm standing on this energy that I'm in right now and why I keep saying people can come see me because at the end of the day, I ain't did nothing but put out love to these people, try with these people, and y'all have had so many opinions of me. Y'all done said what you wanted to say, you know, voice, anything you wanted to say, and I've been quiet, but I'm going to need y'all to understand, you, look Grimmy, Gremlin, the three mustard tears, all of y'all, please, find you something safe to do, find you something safe to do, because speaking on me and my situation,
situation and stuff you don't know about and stuff you probably put you wouldn't even, you wouldn't be able to walk two seconds in my shoes. Find you some safe to do, cause messing with Lily is not it. And that goes for my ex too. It's not it. It's not it. I cannot believe. So right after they broke up, the next month she was back in a relationship. My thing is, how are you going to heal from any trauma bonds that you had with this woman if you jump right into another relationship? When going right back into another situation, how do you know this this whole thing is not a, a trauma bond with this new person? Because you were going through it with your ex, she came along at your weakest moments, and now y'all like this. It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? So Lily comes forward. She tells her side. She gets it out. Boom. Couple days pass, she does another video. She's like, Look, I'm tight because she got up here and she started running her mouth, insinuating that she cheated on me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Wow, like, you don't want to let well enough alone, huh, Graham? Like, you really need to stop it. You have to stop because ain't nowhere in the world either one of y'all are going to heal properly. The one thing I respect about Lily is that, um, you know, when she was telling her story, she was open about it. But the thing about it is now she's seeing someone else too. How? Y'all have to stop. <laughs> Whether it be gay, straight, less, whatever. Whatever you want to put the label on it. You cannot go from one relationship to the other without completely healing. Otherwise, you bring your trauma from that last relationship into your new one. I don't understand. Grams, you are searching for something that a woman cannot give you. You are searching for a completeness that you can only give yourself. 
you sitting up here running from woman to woman, saying the things that you saying, how you lost your dog, and how you don't have a companion, and how you have to learn to um, cope with things now, whereas your dog was your um, stability before. And I'm like, sis, you have to be able to do that yourself. Okay, so if you can't do that yourself, how in the world do you expect to have a a, a proper relationship, something that is of substance? Because if you keep going down the road you're going down, you're going to end up right exactly back where you are now. You're not making no progress. You're not moving along. You're not making no progress. You sitting up here worrying about all the wrong shit when you should be worried about the fact that um, you out here looking crazy because you're in a whole nother relationship. So were you cheating? You're not answering that question. Well, she has every right to have answered. Yeah, y'all not together no more. But you insinuating it online is a problem. Well, don't you get about facts? Like, child. Let me just say that <laughs> Baby, we not doing it. And you, you know me, you will get yourself together. She going to get herself together. And stop pulling other people's emotions and feelings into these things. Because then... You get situations like people want to fight people. Um, why are you still talking to her? Why are you still talking about her? Because the feelings haven't gone anywhere. Okay? They have not gone anywhere because y'all haven't been broken up long enough for y'all to want to be in another relationship with two different people. That's y'all problems. Y'all always want to be laid up and not doing the mental work. I'm crazy. I, I cannot. I cannot. I just can't. I can't. Yeah, I got to go. So, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to drop those purple hearts. And while you are at it, smack that notification bell and set it to all instead of personalized so you know when I post. But I got to go. So, later for me. Bye.